Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cammie, and welcome back to my homestead. Well, guys, as you know, I've always got projects going on. So I've been working on my homestead for about three years, and I almost completed it. But as some of you know, my mother passed away September the 1st, and this is her home. So guess what? I had some more projects going on, adding to my own projects. So we have to be creative. We can't stop. We got to be determined. We got to push. And so guys, I want to introduce you to somebody because we're having two homesteads. You need some help. As you know, this, uh, this uh, homestead is called Never Alone Homestead. So uh, we are never alone where God is always with us. And within that, sometimes we have to hire some help. So this is John. John's going to introduce himself because I needed to pull John in because John has just, com just completed some work. And I'm going to show you the clippings behind here. I'm going to show you the wall. He's going to tell you what he's done. And I'm going to give you a little video of that and show you what's going on. In the future, I'll be updating this video or up to having videos showing what's going on on at the homestead okay so john yeah i'm i'm john blanton um i've been in construction for over over 35 years and this is a project i did for cammy she had a three foot opening i turned it into a 10 foot opening i, I did all the sheetrock work all the framing and all the trimming it yeah so he's been a big help he's done an excellent job i've hired other people into Helping me in some projects because some of you know I've been taking care of my mom and really y'all I am like a year behind on some things so I had to get some help so I've hired other people and needless to say it hasn't quite worked out like I wanted to sometimes people start out good and they just kind of fizzle out or whatever the case may be so um, I believe you like I said you have to continue on and so far I like John's work as a matter of fact um, I, later on we're going to go and look at something else that he's going to do and also and uh, later on also after since he's done this now I've got to you know plan on some flooring uh, the carpet's going to be taken out I'm going to rip the carpet out hopefully I'll get to that if I don't get to that John's going to help me out with that but I think I can I can handle that um, and so uh, I got to work on some flooring and so I'm going to put some flooring down and John, well, John is going to put the flooring down. I'm going to mm -hmm. do the picking out. So that's the next step. And also I'll be showing a video with that. Um, and once the flooring is down, then right here will be an island that I had made at my other homestead. So as you see behind us, you'll see these wires right here. This is from the wall that he took down, which I'm fixing to show you. Um, these wires, the electrician is going to handle that job. Now, I do know how to do some electrical work, but once again, guys, I am so far behind. There's a point in time you have to step up to the plate and say, hey, I need some help here. Um, how much will you charge? What is your estimate? If you don't like the estimate, get another estimate. You know, you just got to be determined and try to fulfill what you need to do in life and not be so stressed out. How I've been stressed out? <laughs> a little bit because it's been really difficult, but you know, hey y'all, that's life. And through every situation and circumstances, we have to find the positivity in the situation. Do what you can do. Don't worry about what you can't do, but do what you can do and find the positivity into the situation. And once again, my motto is be determined. So being determined. So let me uh, show you what John has did and uh, just give you a quick view. So now I'm coming behind the camera. <laughs> so as you see here, uh, John took that as well. What was the measurements, John? The, the wall at first was three feet. Now it's 10 feet, one inch open. So that, as y'all can tell, you imagine that there was only a three feet opening right there against that wall and a three feet, oh, just pretty much a door space. And it now it's at this place, it's at 10 feet. So it really opens up the kitchen. Now back here, this is what he did is exactly what you see in the background. And so the trim, of course that trim right there is going to be, uh, I'm going to kilt it and I'm going to repaint it so it's going to be white. And then I'll be painting the walls, kilts, and painting these walls. But that's how it looks, except it's a 
a lot bigger. And so as you can see, y'all, it just opens it up. And you see right into the next room. And it looks wonderful. So John did a wonderful job. I just want to promote him a little bit and say thank you, John, for all your hard work and dedication. And I, re I really do appreciate it. Um, like I said, I've, I've hired, tried to hire people, but you know you got to keep on and get the right one. That's right. That's right. Okay. <laughs> so, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll probably add to this video. If not, I'll have a title for it. But thank you so much for watching. Please, please hit that like button and subscribe and share. And thank you so much. And remember my motto, make it a great day. God bless you and have a wonderful, wonderful day.